Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're looking at the uh, 2019 AP Calculus AB Free Response Questions, and we're looking at number four here. As usual, uh, I'll have any corrections in the description below if I made any mistakes, and um, you can also, I also have links to PDF solutions that will be kept up to date with corrected values um, if I find any errors. So a, a cylindrical barrel with a diameter of two feet contains collected rainwater shown in the figure above. The water drains out through a valve not shown at the bottom of a barrel. The rate of change of the height of the water barrel is, is given by this. It's uh, feet in seconds. The volume of the cylinder is given by this. Find the rate of change of the volume of water in the barrel with respect to time when the height of the water is four feet and get units of measures. Okay, so V, so I have V is equal to um, pi r squared h. So dv dt, well, r is constant, right? So this is um, r squared, r is one, right? Because the radius is actually one. So this is pi h. So this is pi dh dt. And they want to know the rate of change of the volume water. Okay, but uh, dh dt is given by this. So this is pi times negative one over 10 square root of h. And so I just simply plug in um, four. So this is pi times negative one tenth square root of four is two. So this is equal to negative one fifth pi. And the units of this are going to be, um, this is volume, so it's cubic feet, and the units of time are seconds. Okay, so that's A. Part B, when is the height of the water is three feet? Is the rate of change of the height of the water with respect to time increasing or decreasing? So they want to know if dh dt is increasing or decreasing. And to do that, I need to find the derivative of dh dt, and that's this. So the derivative of this, I write this as negative 110 h to the 1 half. So I take the derivative, it becomes negative 1 over 20, 1 half times 110, uh, h to the negative 1 half. But then by chain rule, I'm going to multiply this by dh dt. And so um, this is negative 1 over 20, 1 over square root of h times negative 1 over 10 square root of h. Um, and they cancel, right? This cancels. So this becomes 1 over 100. Because this is greater than 0, um, it's increasing. dh dt increasing. Just double check that I had that right. I believe that's what I did before. Yep. Okay, good. It's it's all yeah. Um at time t equals zero seconds, the height of the water is five feet. Use separation of various fine expression for h in terms of t. Okay, so so I'm gonna start with my equation dh dt is equal to negative one over ten square root of h. Bring the dt up, bring the h down, or root h square root h. That's dh. That is um, h to the negative one half dh is equal to negative one tenth dt. Then I integrate both sides. This becomes h to the one half divided by one half. It's equal to negative one tenth plus c. So um, that becomes Let's see, that's 2, so I divide by 2, so I get h to the 1 half is equal to, multiplying everything by 1 half is negative 1 over 20 plus c. Some constant times 1 times times one half is still just going to be some constant. And so h is going to be the square root of, uh, sorry, I got square both sides, negative 1 over 20 plus c quantity squared. Now I need, the, let's see, they say I need initial value to, to find c. They say h of 0 is equal to five, and when I plug in, uh, sorry, this was to be a t right here. I don't know why I left out my t. When I plug in zero, I just get c uh, squared. So that implies c is equal to the square root of five. And so h of t then equals negative uh, one over 20 t plus the square root of five quantity squared. All right. Hope you found that helpful, um, and I'll see you in the next video.